Hello, Slicey Dices. This is Brian and his unkept beard. Uh, it's uh, Friday. It's my, what, seventh day, well, sixth and a half day of, of my, my lockdown. Uh, New York is pretty much closed now. We just found out from the governor a couple hours ago. And uh, you know what? I, I'm, I have nothing else to do. I got a couple new knives today. I'm going to disassemble one. And why not have you guys watch along with me? I had, I've already done it. Um, this is being recorded in the future. But I just I thought it'd be fun. And you know, hey, if you guys have a have a knife, you're gonna be disassembling too. Um, I am gonna put this up probably on premiere Saturday, the 21st at eight o'clock, just to give you guys something to watch. And we can all hang out in the comments. And uh, yeah, you guys. And then if you're watching this later on uh, in the future, hope you're okay. Hope we all made it. And you can you know pause it and maybe do a knife disassembly alongside me. This is a lengthy one. There was a bit of an issue with this one. Not a huge deal. I had to do a cut in the middle of it because it's, I had to wait for something to heat up. So. Hope you guys enjoy this and enjoy my ramblings uh, as I disassemble and reassemble and slightly modify with an emergency change of plans on a uh, ZT0393GLCF. A lot of acronyms there. Enjoy. Hello, Slicey Dicers. This is Brian with a little disassembly and reassembly video for you. I don't do these terribly often, but I did just get this brand new uh, ZT0393 GLCF. This is the glow in the dark carbon one. Um, I'm gonna link at the end here to my uh, 0393 review. I had the stonewash version with the S35 VN blade. Uh, looked very similar to this, honestly, but uh, these, these are glow in the dark scales. We'll check that out here in a bit. Um, but uh, I don't, I haven't even tried them yet. I literally just took this out of the mail and I wanted to swap the pocket clip out. Got this MXG gear one. I have around that I originally got for my Hogue and then because it's the same bolt pattern and then I put it on the 0357 for a hot minute and um, yeah I, this isn't a keeper so I took it back off again and uh, the action's a little bit lazy on it it's fine but uh, I am, I'm gonna ramp that detent up a little bit so I am gonna completely take it apart and I just thought well hell might as well turn the camera on I can mutter along with you guys as I do it. I know we're all desperate for stuff to see, so so let's do this. What do I have here? Uh, my usual tools. This is a uh, Weha. It's the Pico driver kit. I would link to it down below, but honestly, I, I can't find it. Um, I, I don't know. Uh, this is not the driver it comes with. This is the one that I use that fits in the box. It's an iFixit driver. I will link to that down below. I'll put a, a link somewhere. I know you can get them from TRM. I highly suggest you get them from them because they're they make cool knives too. Uh, but these are pretty awesome. I do really like them. And you can get the whole bit driver kit and stuff too. I just have it in the Weha little tin because I like that. Uh, I'll link to that down below. I'll probably link to TRM site so you can go get them there. Uh, but a uh, pretty great set. I like Weha bits. This T6 is getting a bit tired, but not too bad. T6s wear out no matter how good they are, but get the best ones you can. And in my opinion, that's Weha. There is a logo here. I have it the wrong way. Uh, hmm. I don't know where that one is. That's interesting. Just discovered that. I'll find out at some point. It's probably on another driver. I have a whole bunch of drivers all over the place. Got my rubbing alcohol, which is uh, running pretty low, but there's more behind me. Don't worry if I do need it. Um, I do have a full bottle. Little piece of cloth here. Cut up a t-shirt that my cat destroyed. I know it's brown. It's sometimes better for the white so you can see if you're getting gunk off or not, but brown is what I have. And my two flavors of KPL and my usual little Loctite stick. All you really need and a rubber bat very important because i drop screws because i'm fumble fingers and uh you you want to you want to make sure you have that now if i remember correctly on the 0393 now let's do the let's do the glow in the dark stuff first i'll probably do a full review on this uh, at some point but um this is a through night wow a7 by the way i'm really impressed by this thing review of it will be forthcoming don't often do flashlight reviews but and yes, I have said before that glow-in-the-dark scales are a bit silly, and I do still feel that way. But when they're not glowing, these ones just look like carbon. So they look really good when they're not glowing. I'm going to try and turn off all the lights. It is broad daylight outside, and my window's open. It doesn't have a shade, so we'll see if we can get anything out of this or not. Probably not going to, but we'll see. Oh, no, we're getting some. It's not, yeah, that, that light's up pretty bright. Yeah, that's going to be screaming bright in the dark. The reason why I just think they're silly is, well, they're in your, it, you're like, oh, you can find your knife if you drop it. Well, it's probably been in your pocket all day. 
so it's not going to be charged up so whatever i guess if you like them just because they're cool don't mind them at all when they're like this and you can just see them and, and they don't really charge extra for them so that's completely fine me but if i remember correctly you have to take the scales completely off this to access the uh the, the barrel spacers in there Get some of this stuff out of the way i wanted it on camera when we started but i don't now so I'll put some of this stuff off camera. So I have access to all my little pocket seas to put some screws in. Hope everybody's doing all right. Wow, it is really hot in my office right now. I'm just starting to realize. So put that one there. See if this is the same size. Why are you not coming out? Come out, you know you want to. There it goes. No, oh, that's a shorter one. So I'm going to put that in a separate little pocket. Oops, see, it stuck to my finger. Good thing I had the rubber thing or else it would have gone flying. Pocket clip off because we're going to change that anyway. And again, you do have to remove the scales on this, if I remember correctly. 99.9% .9 sure that you do. That looks like it's, no, it still looks, maybe it's a little different. I can't really tell. Put it in a separate thing anyway. We have the room, so why not? There we go. Put that pocket clip up there, which is just going to wind up going in the box because it is not going back on this knife. The pocket clip on these are, isn't horrible, but I just prefer the deep carry clip. And also, since my old one was also carbon, so it looked extremely similar to this. this mine was the uh, 0393 SW, the Stonewash sprint run they did. That was when, um, maybe they still are, I hope not, but they haven't done one in a while, but ZT was in that phase of the sprint runs having worse steel than the proper ones, which I never quite understood why they did that the normal ones were 20 cv and the sprints were s35 vn which okay uh i got the stone wash though because i thought that the original 0393 with the black and um the proper one out here with the black and the the black, half blacked out blade and the blue i thought it was freaking hideous so i just didn't want anything to do with it so that is why I got the lesser steel and I eventually let it go. And now I have this one and wow, that is a, ah, that is a tight, tight, tight pivot. That ain't gonna come loose. Okay, and we are back. I took a little pause there. I made a wardrobe change. Uh, like I said, it's hot up here. It's about almost 70 degrees today. Too bad I can't go out. We're in New York. We just got notified a couple hours ago. We were on pretty much complete lockdown. So, uh, but uh, I did warm up the soldering iron. So we get, you, we get to see something that I don't ever show in disassembly videos, but this is just a very inexpensive uh, soldering iron from Amazon, which has pretty indiscernible markings as far as the settings on it go. I just always kind of leave it about there and unplug it when I'm done, uh, but uh, it works pretty well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna heat up this pivot because it is obviously a lot of Loctite on it. And um, I just need to get it heated up so I can break it loose. You can do this with a, it works a lot of times with like a heat gun or a um, hair dryer or something. A, that's not conducive to video. And B, it also leaves the knife hot. It's kind of hard to handle it um, if you heat it up enough to actually work. You're heating up the whole knife. This is a much more just localized heat. So what I'm going to do is put it right down here in the, in the hole. Because this is a coated, coated pivot screw. So if I put it on the other side it would probably uh, leave a mark. So um, yeah, just the cheapest soldering iron you can get if that's what you're using it for. I don't solder things ever, so I don't really care. This does seem like a pretty decent one though. I have soldered stuff before and it does actually seem okay, except for the indiscernible settings. I don't even know what language that's written in. So it doesn't take much. You feel it on the other side. You just want to heat it up so the other side feels warm. Like, not hot. You still want to be able to touch it. Yeah, there we go. That's probably enough. Put this aside. I'll unplug it in, a, in mere moments. Let's just see if we can get this sucker to loose now. Yeah, there we go. Man, it's still tough. But we're free. We are free. So, yeah, handy little trick. When people put too much Loctite on things... Make sure to try and clean some of that off before we reassemble it. That's a whole lot of pivot screw there. 
and still warm, but not hot. There we go. Now we can take that scale off. Let's put this away before I burn my hand. That was a close one. Unplug it. And we're just going to set it in a nice, safe place on a non-burnable surface on my floor here. There we go. It is sitting on my tile floor where it is now safe and sound. So then this one... I, have to remove, yeah, I think I have to remove that pivot completely before I can get that one apart. So we're going to wait a minute on that and switch back to the T6. Or is that a T8? It is T8. Cool beans. Didn't have to switch after all. Hope everybody's staying safe out there. Okay, these aren't Loctited to death. That's, that's good news. Very short little screws. Man, it is warm up here. Probably that soldering iron ain't helping a whole lot. Take this side off. If it will come. There we go. One thing I did not bust out is my little pry tool thingy. And then this, take the blade out. And you know what? We're not even going to, oh, as I just drop a bearing, almost caught it. I have amazing reflexes. Um... Don't do that, guys. It missed the rubber, so it bounced. I'm not even bothered taking this other scale off. It's going to be fine. So the detent is just a little stiff on this. So before I forget, or a little light, I mean, on this. So I am going to bend this in just a bit. If I was trying to loosen it, I'd have to remove this scale completely, but I'm not going to. So I'm just going to do very scientifically, look at what it was. Okay, it was there. It was there, and I'm just going to... Get a little nunga nunga. As my Australian friend would say, you want to tighten something nunga nunga tight. You turn it down until you go nunga nunga, and then that's tight enough. So there. It's just a little bit more. It's just just a tiny skosh more. We'll see how that is. If I have to back it off, then I'll have to disassemble it again. I probably won't make you guys sit through it, but uh, I don't think I'm going to have to take these bearings out. Get out our little cloth here. And just, what else did I, I wanna definitely do this pivot screw and get some of that. It's weird the Loctite didn't stay on it. Oh, I guess there is some on there. Again, I have more alcohol. There we go. That is one substance I make sure to never run out of, whether it's the consumable kind or the knife cleaning kind. And as my governor told me today, you can use it to make your own alcohol wipes if you want to, to protect yourself from the tickles. We may actually do that because we don't have, we have bacterial soap, but don't have any hand sanitizer or anything in it. But I do have, I think, two more bottles that have 91% isopropyl alcohol stuff. So it could dilute it slightly. There's that little bit in there. A little bit of fuzz. Don't know where that came from. Set the bearings over here. They are all nice and clean now. Now, again, this is brand new, so it's not going to be any dirt coming off it. I just want to clean it because I'm me and it's a part. Yeah, now that pivot's coming out, I could take that scale off if I wanted to, but yeah, I don't really, I don't really care that much. This is going to get it clean enough for me. Yeah, now screwed I am, I guess, because I do want to get in. The bearing races. Okay, there we go. I didn't take it all the way off. Line it back up there. And now for the reassembly. Glad these little uh, little barrel spacers didn't come out. Those are a pain sometimes on some knives. I don't know if it is on this one or not. I don't recall from taking my old one apart whether or not it was. But I'll probably want to put a bearing in there. Now, I'm weird in that I like to have always this side of the bearing facing the blade. That has worked out for me well in the past. And so that's what we're gonna do here. Start out not with the heavy. We'll start out with the regular old KPL. You can use your nano lube or whatever your lubrication of choice is. I really like the KPL, except for that it looks exactly like the tubes from my vape. I actually posted a thing on Instagram about this a while ago. Um, I screwed up and I did fill my vape full of KPL the other day. Luckily, I noticed before I fired it. So, um, yeah, that was 
I got it halfway to my mouth and thought that smells like KPL. Oh no, what have I done? So uh, yeah, don't don't make that mistake that I made because I'm a stupid head. Get vape juice that looks different than your favorite knife. It is literally almost an identical bottle. And they were both sitting on my desk, so that happened. That's probably more than enough lube, but we're going to put a little bit on the pivot there. Drop the blade back in. There we go. And other bearing. Again, more than enough. And then we're gonna take the KPL Heavy and use it on this detent ball, which seems to work really, really well. You can see steel bearings and steel detent ball. That is something that um, ZT does that a lot of the Chinese companies don't do anymore. They're mostly all ceramic now. Take that information as you will. I do kind of wish they did ceramic, but they don't. So here we are, everything's all lining up. Put our scale back on. Oh, nope. Moron. Gotta do these first, you big dummy. Not even that big anymore. I can't even say that. You, you weird, skinny dummy. I have lost a lot of weight. I'm kind of proud of it, except for that a lot of it was because of stress. But that's not a fun way to lose weight. I guess there is no fun way to lose weight, is there? It's much more fun to gain weight than it is to lose it. And yes, I am rambling like I have lost it. So uh, come on, that's hard to pick up. And we will put, which was which? Uh, which was which, these little ones, I think. No, they're the other side. That's the thing on the back. Okay, those are, all right, yeah, I'm right. I'm right, I remember now, T6, dummy. It's not fun doing this when you're stupid. Just saying, it's probably, I bet a much smarter person and really enjoys knife disassembly a lot more than I do. A guy who can remember where stuff is and remember, not once but twice, because I paused this video and restarted it while I was warming up the soldering iron and I still forgot to put my freaking reading glasses on so that I can see what I'm doing. See, rubber mat, always a good thing. That would have been on the floor and I would have had to pause again as I crawled around on my floor with a flashlight. Trying to find it. Line up, you bastard. That's just not wanting to go into its home. There we go. See, sometimes you just got to use the proper swear words and everything works out fine. And now we are going to switch. Put the pivot on just because we're on this side. I don't know what my dog's barking at. Probably my son coming home. Hopefully my wife's not home already. That means the grocery store was empty. We don't need a ton. We stocked up pretty good, but there's a few things while we can, we wanted to get. And I almost guesstimated that. Okay, now I know where this one goes. We're T6 from here on out, unless I have to make adjustments, which I almost certainly do. I can already see. Dog is upset about something. So are the neighbor dogs. Must be somebody's here. And then we're going to put this new MXG carry clip on here. If it fits. Oh, it doesn't. Dang it all to heck. I forgot I need a specific one for this. Well, poopies. I forgot the 0393 needs a specific one. The hinderer one fits it. I have a spare hinderer one, but. The one it comes with is just fine, but, um, hmm, is it out here? I could put a hinder clip on it just for giggles until I get the better one. Where is my XM18? Because that has my uh, silver hinder clip on it. It usually has a copper one, but I don't know where I put my XM18. I've been doing so many videos lately that I have in entirely too many knives sitting out here. I'm not seeing my XM18 right now, because right now it is set up in stock configuration. So, um, yeah, we'll skip it. I'm just going to put the stock one back on for now. And I'll order the proper MXG gear clip. 
Dang it. This is fine, I guess. I just don't like the way it looks. But at least we can check out the action and stuff. And this will either, shortly after this video, either have a uh, Hinder clip on it, or I'll just order an MXG, an MXG Gear Deep Carry. I think I'm just going to put a Hinder clip on it. I have a spare one. Why not? It's nicer. Just not sure exactly where it is at the moment. Mm. Oh. We can do this. We can take it. I'm going to take it off of my... Uh, this is a Hinder Jurassic... I'll take it off until I find my X-18 and I'll swap them around. Um, I just need a small-ish, but not too tiny Phillips head because that's what they use. It's just going to pretty it up a little bit, I think. And maybe, I, maybe I'll just decide to use it. I have an extra one of these I'm not using. Why? I don't care about the deep carry that much. So, man, the neighborhood dogs are upset about something. Probably a FedEx guy. I don't have anything coming today. Oh, my son does. I know what happened. My son's clothes got delivered because he's a millennial. So he is in one of those clothing clubs. Stitch Fix, I think. I don't know if it's good. He seems to like it. I'm not recommending it. This is a long, rambly video, but, you know, guys, again, I say, what else do we have to do? So, yeah, this is a genuine hinderer clip, and yes, it does fit. And I will make sure to restore my Jurassic to its former glory as soon as this is over with. I will make you guys watch that. Yeah, that looks good. Makes it look like a proper hinderer. If you guys are true knife nerds and you see this in my pocket, you're going to think it's a quote-unquote real hinderer. This is obviously a hinderer design, the 03 and 3 based off the Eclipse. Oh, yeah. That looks better. That looks like home. Now, let's see how horribly off that pivot is, which the answer is very. I'm going to check and see if I screwed up the detent or not. Nope, that's better. More drop shutty. That's a huge improvement. Yep, that's good now. And ooh. Yeah, I'm not going to get a deep carry clip for this. That looks, that looks sexy. I'm keeping it. Yeah. So that's a very long disassembly video, longer than I intended with the... And even longer because there was a 10 minute break there. I went down to change my shirt and wait for my, um, wait for my, uh, soldering iron to heat up. So hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, just a little something to watch, uh, pass the time and all that stuff. Uh, I'll probably do this, you know, I'm going to do this, uh, Saturday. It'll be what today, the, the Saturday, the 21st, since it's a long video and I'll premiere it so that we can sit and chat during it. So it'll be like a mini live show. Hope you guys have enjoyed this. I've been Brian. Have a good one.